What's up, Gemini gang? What's happening? Y'all, I don't know what was going on. Maybe it's a full moon, but I didn't sleep at all last night, y'all. So y'all gonna have to bear with me. Child, cause baby, I didn't sleep well at all last night. I was up, back and forth. <sighs> the energy is potent, y'all. I don't know what's going on. Ain't it like some type of partial eclipse or something going on yesterday? All right now. Anywho, all Gemini placements, take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation. If you need a personal reading, check the description box, lovepeacegenesis.com. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes. So it's just going to keep flipping over like this. Hit that subscribe. I appreciate you for being here, you guys. Um, oh, happy Wednesday, aka Mercury Day. Oh, I didn't come up with my uh, Wednesday intro. Okay, so we have true love here on the bottom, all right? And the cards kept flipping over strange. I was trying to have it flip over with just one or two, but it didn't happen. Honeymoon, okay? Enjoy the bliss of a holiday, the bliss of holiday time together. Uh, getting to know each other. Yes, this could be the one and you deserve love, okay? So, let's see what is going on here on Gemini's. Oh, again, hit those likes, y'all. Hit that subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post. Okay? Let's see what is going on, Gemini's, with you. So, so far, I feel like there's a lot of energy going on here. I can feel it. <sighs> okay. The strength card here uh, could be a Leo you're dealing with. I'm seeing the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Cups is sticking out there. Um, you may be the only one somebody wants to. Like you, you're you like the only one somebody has their eyes set on. I kept getting that while I was uh, meditating. So I don't know if some of you guys are like second guessing yourselves or something. The Empress, baby, yeah. Baby, yeah. <laughs> if you were, it's like wondering if somebody was like into someone else or whatever. I feel like this could be somebody that is like only into you or I was just picking up on that for somebody specific okay I don't know what's gonna come up in the reading yet <laughs> all right but yeah that's for somebody um because I kept getting that while I was meditating for you so uh Gemini this could be a Libra Taurus you're dealing with but yes love seeing that Empress card because that kind of gives me a vibe of you um yeah wow we have uh, the King of Wands here. We got the Queen of Cups here on the bottom. So whoever this is is looking at this Empress card, okay? It could be a fire sign. Somebody's definitely checking for you. Yeah, mm-hmm. You are lovable. The Queen of Cups is a perfect energy for the you deserve love because again, some of you may need to learn how to open, to give and receive love. If that makes sense like some of you guys need to learn how to um ace of wands uh be a little bit more open and uh, vulnerable or it could be the person on your mind that needs to do this the ace of cups knight of wands could have been a sag uh for some of you but yeah some of you have a new energy or someone coming in as a new energy uh gemini you got two aces here i love to see it uh, but yeah, this, the strength card here, especially with the Empress, is someone seeing you uh, have like this really tight bond with you or they just put you on a very high pedestal. Someone may see you like uh, as an angel too, like in their eyes. Like in their eyes, you can do no wrong, uh, Gemini's. Now, hopefully that's a good and a bad thing because I feel like some someone may idolize you and I, and I can, um, I, um, can relate to that a lot so it's like someone idolizes you and like in, in their mind you are i mean literally just this amazing being like <laughs> and you are gemini's but you know you have you have flaws we all do so i feel like this person may like kind of overlook your flaws a little bit and again that's not a bad thing okay but you know just make sure that there's no delusion there you might be dealing with a pisces and you know. Uh, somebody got a Pisces placement, but yeah, somebody is whoever this fire sign is or whoever this embodies is like it's checking for you, um, but also sees you in their future. Okay, 
some of you you want uh, some of you want something new or uh someone new okay uh wow <laughs> the moon yeah somebody feels just a, a super insane magnetic pull to you the king of wands again gemini's <laughs> the page of wands and the lovers uh, love it also the four of wands came out uh, with the high priestess so yeah somebody is very 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 much into you someone does see you as their true love gemini's but yeah again usually when i see the empress with a king it's, it gives like someone putting you on a pedestal like someone has you on such a high pedestal uh gemini's and it could be even more than one energy here that just is kind of idolizing you um gemini's okay and i feel like it could be it could be a little smothering <laughs> um but i feel like it's, it's also a good thing like it's it's also a good feeling but the strength card with the moon it gives me a vibe of like someone being extremely drawn to you and i feel like it's because you have managed to like tame this person like you you've managed to, to get something out of this person that many people haven't been able to do. Like whatever you've done, uh, Gemini's keep doing it because you, you've you managed to get this person to do things that they've never done, um, you know, do things that, or say things that they've never done, think about things they've never thought about uh, with a person. So, you know, this is kind of an interesting energy and this could be why this person idolizes you and has you on such a high pedestal because like i said i feel like you're you're able to tame this person like this person might kind of kind of be like a fly by night kind of energy like never really like settling down and kind of it being in this in there being single being the bachelor sometimes a king of wands can be the bachelor uh type of thing but this bachelor here bachelorette is checking for you like and and that's what i got in the when i was meditating for you is somebody is checking for you like and only you um so you know that's that's kind of what i get with this even though this person isn't even like not really the settled down type and you've managed to tame the, tame somebody um Gemini's and I feel like they're they're in this space of how the hell did Gemini manage to do that <laughs> how did Gemini manage to do this so, and I'm getting to like a heavy physical vibe so somebody is thinking about that physical very much okay like somebody is thinking about intimacy uh and all of that and I mean thinking about this very 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 much and like I said the strength card with the moon it makes me feel like um, cause you see in the moon card, they're all drawn to this moon. Oh, and it's a full moon today too. Something might be going on for some of y'all today. Um, but you see how these animals are drawn to this moon. And I feel like this is how, how they seeing you because look how this King of Wands is here with this Empress in this. It looks like this King of Wands are kind of drawn to this Empress. So it's like something very alluring about you, uh, Gemini's. And it may even be other energies that are in this very alluring state with you uh if that makes sense but there is one particular person though that feels like you kind of tame them you know to to want to settle down and not move around as much and not live this bachelor lifestyle because i feel like you kind of got a bachelor or you know someone that's like chronically single used to kind of doing their own thing doing this fly by night stuff like wanting uh, to settle down and, and wanting to commit and, and do the whole shebang <laughs> somebody feels like you're the one it's like they didn't play they didn't play the field they didn't did what they're gonna do and i feel like somebody feels like you are the one the ace of wands again yep someone's coming to light that fire but it's just something i feel like it's just something about you uh, Gemini, and they may even say that they may even say that you know hey it's just something about you i'm not gonna take these because how they flipped over but look what almost flipped over y'all the two of wands and the ace of cups so you have a, a choice whether you realize that right now or not yeah king of swords on the bottom this, with this especially with this two of wands crossing this empress here with this king of wands and the king of wands next to it and the king of swords some of you might have a choice you might have two different love offers or more than one love offer from two people that feel like you have kind of tamed them 
like somebody that's very, very, um, I don't want to say necessarily non-committal because I don't feel like this is someone that may play games with people, but I do get this is someone that, that doesn't settle down easily. This is not so, this is like a, a chronic bachelor or a bachelorette. This is what I get with that. So I don't necessarily get that, you know, this is someone that, um, <laughs> baby i don't get this is necessarily someone that might play games but yes they may have at one point um but i feel like that's that's not where they're at anymore in their life uh gemini it's like you've completely changed somebody like you you're someone is considering completely changing the game for you queen of swords here on the bottom could be a libra but it could be a little bit of your detachment to uh, Gemini. So I feel like you're not, you don't put up with somebody's foolishness. Um, this is kind of similar to yesterday's read. You don't put up with somebody's foolishness. Uh, and I feel like that kind of turns someone on. <laughs> Night of Wands, especially if you're dealing with a fire side, I need. Oh, goodness. King of Cups? I told you. This is mm, Gemini. Some of you got more than one person here. Uh, the chariots here on the bottom and the justice came out with the king of cups. So I feel like, yeah, Gemini's, there might be some type of, um, some type of balance and restoral that needs to happen too. But with the king of cups here under, uh, you deserve love. We almost saw the queen of cups there at one point. So you are dealing with some type of divine counterpart or some of you legit, there's more than one energy here that, is into you but I'll, I'll speak on it as one energy okay uh but just know that some of you guys <clears throat> you have more than one person here that is considering settling down now we didn't see the emperor here okay doesn't mean that that it's not your divine counterpart or anything like that it doesn't mean that but what it does mean is um people may see you as like above them, like, you know, in, in however way that, that sees fit to you. Someone sees you as kind of above them, um, you know, and take that how you will, good, bad, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I do feel like someone may be like catching feelings, um, I, I, but I'm not seeing it's a bad thing. I don't feel like this person is uh, wanting to fight this anymore if they were fighting this I just don't see that they, they want to fight it anymore because you've managed to do something to with this person or to this person that not many before you has managed to do okay like you actually want someone actually wants to like settle down and someone actually sees you in their future or you know uh, is considering like marriage or long term when they weren't even considering that um, at first not to the capacity that you are. Like I said, you've managed to tame somebody and they see that. Somebody sees that you have managed to like tame them um, that in a way that they've never like experienced. <laughs> Cause this is not someone that, that goes, that just goes along to go along, um, especially in relationships. This is not someone that settles down easily, especially with the Knight of Wands here. The Knight of Wands, the Page of Wands, the King of Wands. So heavy wands, some of you dealing with a fire sign. Uh, for some of you, this person might be uh, younger than you. I'll never get over you. This is just not somebody that uh, just settles down easily. I'm starting to understand you better. Yeah, that makes sense too with the Justice card here. Um, especially if this, is, if this is someone you've been dealing with for a while, you might be, um, somebody is folding. That's, this is just what I get. Like, there's no other way to put this. Like, you just, you've managed for somebody to fold. Um, and that is slang and stuff like that, okay? If you don't know what, what fold is, <laughs> it's, it pretty much means someone is giving in. Somebody is surrendering, um, to you and to this connection, okay? This fell out again. I'll never get over you. Yeah, they've never experienced someone like you, Gemini's. That's what I get. And that's why they're so drawn to you. Uh, you're, you're not like anyone else. I'll cut everyone off for you. Mm hmm I told you this is a bachelor. They probably got a few little thing things in their phone, a little yeah, yes. <laughs> Can we try this again? Uh, 
I'm worried you're rejecting me. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. It makes sense. Especially if you two have already like dealt with each other and y'all like had a fallout or whatever. Not I'll cut everyone off for you again. Okay, well I'll stop shuffling. Uh <laughs> we're seeing that one again. We can't be friends. You probably friends on this person, or you've been you've been considering it. I feel a strong connection with you. I told you this person is feels this the connection is insane to this person. They never felt anything like this. Um, and that could be why they, they were how they were. Will you ever take me back? <laughs> it's always been you. Yeah. They've always been into you. You are all I need. I'm telling you, this person is isn't checking for other people uh gemini's and you've managed to change that in this person i want to see you right now like i don't know what you did to them but baby you got them thinking all this gushy romance it's like this person's thinking about how they can be romantic with you and all this other stuff baby everything i said was genuine mm -hmm. yeah i bet i'm seeing things differently now yep they've had some time to think they've had some time something's happening tomorrow I don't know what, but Can't Let Go by Anthony Hamilton. They probably tried, but didn't work. 333. Three, three. Shy. I'm ready for real this time. <laughs> the distance between us is killing me. Let me get one more. and I'm going to shuffle and get a couple of songs. I'm sorry if I made you feel like you didn't matter. Yep. Or they may have tried to make it seem like they wanted to play the field and stuff, but baby, that ain't the case no more. All right, let me shuffle, shuffle, shuffle and see what is going on here. <laughs> All right. Oh, shoot. Jill Scott the way. Yeah, baby. Where are my hands? Come through, spirit. Come through, come through, come through. Go listen to Jill Scott The Way. You love me, baby. Oh, Half Crazy by Music Soul Child. I know this in, this this song is in this deck. <laughs> love it. All right, Gemini's. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, y'all. Peace out.